Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrats just blindsided in Senate race by red tsunami wave boost from Kavanaugh. With the allegations against Judge Kavanaugh, there were rumors that the Supreme Court justice nomination process would cause the midterm elections to flip either way. If Judge Kavanaugh was confirmed, it would help Republicans and if he wasn't confirmed it would help Democrats. The results certainly speak for itself. Democrats are now getting blindsided by the numbers. Republicans have come swinging back and better than ever. Breitbart reported. Republican Josh Hawley leads incumbent Democrat Senator Claire McCaskill by eight points in a new poll released Thursday by pro Hawley Super PAC Missouri Rising Action. This is a 10-point jump for Hawley from the Pox June poll. Hawley pulled 52 percent support to McCaskill's 44 percent in the new poll of 600 voters. Conducted by Jim McLaughlin of McLaughlin & Associates from September 29 to October 2. The result demonstrates a 10-point jump for Hawley since Missouri Rising Action's previous poll of the race in June. The previous poll had McCaskill up over Hawley 46-42. McCaskill ranked with just 42% favorability to 51% on favorability in the new poll. Hawley was ranked 41% favorable to just 33% on favorable. Independents surveyed supported Hawley 51-39. This is up from the previous poll, which showed independents supporting Hawley by a much more narrow 39 to 38 percent. A Missouri Rising Action release of the poll identified respondents as 36 percent Republican, 34 percent Democrat, and 30 percent independent or other. The POX executive director Brian Rogers said of the poll. These fresh numbers indicate that Josh Hawley is gaining momentum at exactly the right time as Missouri voters tune into this important race. The Democrats' hysterical attacks on Judge Kavanaugh have hurt Democrats like Claire McCaskill whose states voted decisively for President Trump in 2016. This will be a tight race, but Missourians are now more ready than ever to replace Claire McCaskill with a senator who will represent their values and interests in Washington, Josh Hawley. The PAC paired the release of the new poll with an announcement that it is launching a $1 million grassroots Get Out the Vote initiative in cooperation with partner data analytics firm Pi next week in support of Hawley. The group will focus on turning out key voter segments. The campaign will target voters identified by Pi with customized messages communicated through digital advertising, direct mail, and turnout texting, and phone calls. Missouri Rising Action reported. Today, Missouri Rising Action released the results of a new poll conducted by Jim McLaughlin of McLaughlin & Associates, showing Josh Hawley now leading Claire McCaskill by a margin of 52 percent to 44 percent. This new data represents a significant shift from Missouri Rising Action's last poll in June, which showed McCaskill leading Hawley 46 percent to 42 percent. Missouri Rising Action's new poll, conducted from September 29 to October 2, shows McCaskill's favorability upside down minus 42 percent favorable to 51 percent unfavorable while Hawley is right side up minus 41 percent to 33 percent. Republicans have rallied around Hawley, supporting the Attorney General 95 percent to 3 percent, was 84 percent to 8 percent in previous poll, while Democrats back McCaskill 89 percent to 8 percent, down from June when it was 94 percent to 3 percent. A key difference is among independents, among whom Hawley is leading 51 percent to 39 percent. In June, Hawley was winning independents by a narrow margin. 39% to 38%. Republicans now lead on the generic ballot by a 52% to 41% margin. These fresh numbers indicate that Josh Hawley is gaining momentum at exactly the right time as Missouri voters tune into this important race, said Brian Rogers, executive director of Missouri Rising Action. The Democrats' hysterical attacks on Judge Kavanaugh have hurt Democrats like Claire McCaskill whose states voted decisively for President Trump in 2016. This will be a tight race. But Missourians are now more ready than ever to replace Claire McCaskill with a senator who will represent their values and interests in Washington, Josh Hawley. Missouri Rising Action also today announces a new $1 million grassroots initiative is focused on turning out voters to help Josh Hawley beat Claire McCaskill this November. The initiative will launch next week and run through the final hours of voting on November 6. Missouri Rising Action has partnered with leading data analytics firm High to model the Missouri electorate and focus this seven-figure campaign on turning key voter segments on Election Day. This will be a close race, and High has identified the exact voters that Missouri Rising Action needs to contact and persuade to help finally retire McCaskill. Based on High's data, Missouri Rising Action will be using customized messages to target these specific voters through digital advertising, direct mail, 
and turn out texting and phone calls to ensure they come out on election day. Poll information. Conducted by McLaughlin and Associates September 29 to October 2. 600 sample plus slash minus 4.0% margin of error. Minus 59% landline slash 41% mobile phone interviews. Party affiliation 36% GOP, 34% Dem and 30% Independent slash other. Senator McCaskill is a politician who serves the state of Missouri. She was first elected in 2006 and was the second female senator from Missouri to serve. However, she was the first senator to be elected in her own right. In her previous career, she was the 34th state auditor of Missouri between the years of 1999 to 2007. Additionally, she served as Jackson County prosecutor between 1993 and 1998. She also worked in the Missouri House of Representatives between 1983 and 1989. Her elections in the past have been very close and in some cases swing. McCaskill has had a lot of controversy in her career. In the past, she was found to have used taxpayer dollars to use her and her husband's private airplanes. The Missouri Republican Party filed an ethics complaint with the state as a result. She indicated in the past she had never had contact with Russian ambassadors, but previous tweets on social media indicated otherwise. She tried backtracking on the nature of the meeting, but regardless she met with them when she said otherwise. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.